morning guys and uh, welcome to the start of another weekly vlog I was supposed to vlog last week I did start recording vlogging last week but then a couple of days into the week I just wasn't feeling it it felt very like I was just doing it because I felt like I had to and it didn't feel great so I just decided not to do it last week and I figured this week would probably be more interesting to vlog anyway because it's Layla's birthday this week and we've got quite a few things planned so so yeah there we go so uh right now actually it's monday morning monday the what day is today 19th of february and i am already out of the house as you can see i'm in the car layla's at home with my mum she's working from home today so she's watching her and i am gonna go get my hair cut my hair is so long now and it's been almost three years since I last had a haircut and if you've been following me for a while you may remember when I had my last haircut and I donated my hair to charity. Um, I've done that twice now so this will be the third time. <clears throat> Basically what happens is I get my hair cut quite short and then the um, hair gets sent off to a charity and they make wigs for children with cancer. And um, you can mail it in, this charity is UK based, but you can mail in from abroad if you wanted to. And I will post a link to the website down below. They do take coloured hair as long as they're like natural colours rather than like red or anything crazy. Um, they do take coloured hair, they do take like permed and like chemically treated hair. Uh, they don't take bleached hair, I think that's the only thing that they draw a line at is anything that's been bleached. But um, they do take all kinds of... Um, hair as well so that's great but um it's called the little princess trust i think is what they're called but but yeah so that's what i'm gonna do i sent off hair to them before and um so yeah and uh yeah i get my biggest so i better get going i'm gonna try and record what i can at the hairdressers but um we will see okay so this is how long my hair is currently it is way down to here I guess the longest bits come down to about there and um, it's basically in line with my belly button which is right here so that's how long my hair is it's down to my belly button and it's slightly cut I mean I've just brushed it out so it's frizzy but it was slightly curly so if I pull it straight you can see how long it is there so yeah that's quite long um, this is the longest it's been for a while but uh, but yeah, just wanted to show you what it looked like um, before I got the haircut. Another little fun fact for you. Um, Perry and I used to actually live in this neighborhood um, where I'm coming now for my haircut. Uh, so about six, just over six years ago when we, before we left the UK, we were living around here. So it's very strange coming back here, driving back here. There's a route I'm very familiar with. And yeah, it just felt very, very surreal being back here. done although to be honest it feels incredibly short it's shorter than I got it cut last time and um, I kind of feel like you cut it a little bit too short especially in the back it feels like there's a big poof on my head I'm not used to having it this short um, this is actually probably the shortest haircut I've had ever since I was a child and um, yeah I'm not sure how I feel about it to be honest I feel like he went a little bit shorter than I'd asked him to um, especially in the back but we'll see my hair tends to grow up quite quickly so it shouldn't be too bad I'll be honest I'm not entirely happy with the haircut it's definitely shorter than I wanted um, quite a bit shorter and especially in the back it's shorter than I wanted all right so I'm back home now I'm still not entirely happy with this haircut it's definitely shorter than I wanted especially in the back I'm not sure how you can see that there um, yeah he trimmed the hairs right at the base of my neck really short to the point where now they're like really itching the back of my neck so not not too happy about that but um 
yeah like I said I know my hair grows pretty quickly so it will be fine in a couple of weeks it's just because it's Layla's birthday this week and I wanted my hair to look nice for photos and this wasn't really what I was going for it's fine it's okay there are bigger things to be upset about than hair but um I've actually just run over it with my hair straighteners which actually has been really strange because I haven't used them for so long I am um, I left them in the UK before we moved to New York because of the difference in the power um power uh, in the plugs that's, that's the word it uh, it wouldn't work in New York so I didn't even bother taking it with me but um yeah so that's taken some of the poof out of the poofiness of the hair from before and it looks a lot less um poof ball like I guess I don't know how to describe it um I did also run to the post office which you may have seen a little clip of I just had to mail off some podcast prizes so those are now out in the mail but yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to leave it like this for the rest of today and just see how it goes, how I feel about it. And then I might just wash it tonight or tomorrow and put some mousse in it and see what it looks like curly because um, I'll probably have it like that more often than not. I want the other thing I wanted to say was I did measure the hair before I mailed it off and I ended up donating about 17 inches of length. So, I mean, that's how much he cut off and then he trimmed it even more. So in all, I think I lost probably close to... Um, 19 20 inches in length for my hair so um quite a lot <laughs> lopped off today um i feel good about doing it and doing it for charity and i will probably keep doing it for charity as long as i can as long as my hair is okay enough to be donated um but but yeah hey <laughs> is that the camera are you a little messy one What do you think of mommy's hair? Huh? What do you think? Lovely. Okay, so I've just got myself some lunch together. Layla's had her lunch. My mom's getting her put down for a nap. She'd just done a huge, huge poo. So um, my mom volunteered to deal with that. So I'm not going to argue with her. Um, and yeah, so I just popped a couple of clips in my hair to keep it out of my face. I'm gonna get cracking with some work stuff. I don't think I've actually shown this yet, but I caked up this skein from Junk Yarn. This is on her, I think it's the Sophie colorway. It's on her DK base. Just double check that. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, I'm doing a hat. Yeah, so it's the Sophie colorway on the DK full ply, 100% superwash merino. So sort of slightly crinkled up label. But it's this really beautiful sort of springy, sp oh jeez, I almost took my eye out. This lovely spring sort of colourway with like pinks and greens. I'm not usually a pink person, but I really like it with this because it reminds me of flowers. And it feels very sort of spring appropriate for um, the season that's coming, hopefully. So as you can see, I've just done the brim. And I've done the folded brim, which is sort of standard with most of my hat patterns these days. And uh, yeah, I'm just getting kicked off into the patterning. Kicked off into the I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just getting started with the patterning and I will I will show you how that works up eventually. So um, this is my lunchtime knitting progress. This is hats that I'm designing out of the junk yarn yarn, which I showed you. I just done the brim before and now I'm about um, a little bit of the way into it. I really love how this stitch pattern is knitting up. It's beautiful perfect for the coming spring. And I inadvertently have left Layla sleeping too long. I wasn't expecting her to sleep the full two hours, but she has, so I've got to go get her.
you guys so it's in the end of the evening and uh, it's 9 p.m laser's asleep we've had dinner and i'm back upstairs in the attic getting on with some work stuff <sighs> i showed you where i was with this hat earlier today after i haven't picked i haven't touched this since um since i last showed it to you but just wanted to show you guys a little bit of a close-up i absolutely love this stitch pattern it is so much fun and um and yeah so i might try and get working on that a little bit more is it me or is my hair a little bit longer on this side than on this side <laughs> sorry i just noticed that um yeah oh well <laughs> that's that i posted about it on my instagram stories actually my haircut and stuff and i just wanted to say massive thank you to everybody you've all been so sweet and so lovely i've never had so many messages <laughs> on instagram in one day before i think I must have had like over 150 messages today. It was insane. But thank you so much to everybody. Um, I did try and get back to everybody, at least with a heart or something, even if I didn't have time to write a full reply. But I do really appreciate it. It was very sweet of everyone. And uh, yeah, it was just a nice day, to be honest. Layla napped really well. She ate very well. Everything went really well. And it was just nice. It was just a nice day. And... Um, and yeah, so I don't want to sign off here for tonight, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Morning guys, it is now Tuesday the 20th of February, and <laughs> it's one of Leela's toys in the background. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, almost 10 30. i slept in a bit this morning i have no idea what time Layla woke up but she was not complaining so um it's fine and uh and yeah she's she's just had her breakfast which you might have just seen we facetimed with perry so we're just gonna hang out watch some olympics and kill some time i think she may have woken up later than usual to this morning just because by the time i woke up she wasn't really complaining and if she's been up for a while she would have been crying or complaining a bit more about being left in bed so um i think i think we're gonna try skipping the morning nap today and see how that goes because now, now that she's almost one over the next few months she's going to be dropping this morning nap which is fine by me but um we've never tried going without it yet so we will see how it goes today hey guys so Layla's having her lunch nap now and i've been quite productive actually so going without her morning nap today seems to have gone okay. Um, she was a little bit fussy around lunchtime just because, you know, she hadn't had her nap. So lunch was a little bit <laughs> tricky, but we got her fed and that was all good. And uh, yeah, so since she's been asleep, I have finished off the brioche cow that I was working on today, or this week in general. Um, I can't remember when I cast this on. I think it must have been like Saturday night or something and yeah it is now tuesday and it is done it was super quick um this wasn't even like the only thing i've been working on this time this whole time but um i really like how it's knit up it worked really well in the two yarns um the and uh, the yarn from knit crate which was the blue it's the raindrops colorway and that was the base was a superwash merino alpaca and silk i believe and the yarn that i used for the contrast which you can see clearer on the inside is by Dangadian and it is made from recycled silk which was um, taken from like recycled saris essentially in like India and Nepal so um, really really fun and I used the blue as the main color just to sort of tone down the craziness of the rainbowy silk yarn but of course you could wear it inside out as well if you the other way around if you wanted and that's the beauty of brioche two-colored brioche is that it is fully reversible that's what it looks like on the other side and I'll just pop it on really quickly so yeah <laughs> nice and simple still just need to weave in my ends but I'll do that in a second I wanted to try it on before I wove them in just to make sure that I didn't have to make any adjustments but yeah it fits pretty well nice and cozy and snug and will be perfect especially now that I've got short hair and the back of my neck is going to need a lot more protection so this would be great to wear with a coat or anything because it'll just tuck in quite nicely into the collar and because it's brioche it's like double thick and extra warm and squishy I'm not even sure I'm going to block this to be honest because I like how squishy it is 
and the size is pretty good. So there's no real pattern to this. I just cast on um, 92 stitches, I think it was. I, I was aiming for 100, but I hadn't left a long enough tail, so I just went with 92. And um, just a two color brioche for about 12 inches and then bound off, nice and simple. Um, I think there are some free, simple, like sort of tube cowl brioche patterns on Ravelry as well. So you could probably search for one of those if you want a bit more um, guidance, I guess, than that. Um, so yeah, there's that. In terms of how the yarns felt, I'll do a little bit of a review. The blue yarn is so soft. It is, it's like cloud soft. There's no itch factor at all, considering you wouldn't, I mean, other than the fact there's a bit of halo in it to the yarn, um, I wouldn't have known that there was alpaca in the, in the yarn at all, just by how soft it was. Um, alpaca, no matter how soft it is, sometimes still has a slight prickle factor to it. This has zero. It is so soft. And this was the raindrops colorway. I don't know if I said that or not. And um, as for working with the silk yarn, it's 100% recycled silk, and it's actually roving, so it's silk, well, it's not roving, they call it silk roving yarn, but it's actually just a single ply. Um, and yeah, that was really, really nice to work with as well. Again, I was concerned about it being 100% silk because that can feel a little bit, um, it can be a little bit tough to work with, it can feel a little bit like cotton but um, it wasn't too bad actually, it, especially because I was alternating, I was you know, one round with the silk and then one round with the alpaca merino silk. So it kind of, it wasn't just solidly working with the silk yarn, um, which I think helped as well. So I never really felt that sort of um, fatigue in my hands. So, so yeah, it was really fun to work with. I will say that the silk yarn is a little bit lumpy bumpy in places you can see there because it is hand spun and it is, um, a single ply. They're all like thick and thin bits. You can see the little thick bits there. Um, but again, that's part of the charm of it, I found, and I don't, it doesn't bother me. But it's something to bear in mind in case it does bother you. I had a fair bit left over, actually. Um, so there were 100 gram balls each, and I have probably just over 40 grams up here combined. I definitely have less of the blue than I do of, I have of the silk yarn. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add these extras in with the other two skeins that I, um, I'm doing a giveaway for so if you saw my knit crate review video for February then you'll know that I'm doing a giveaway for one skein each of these colors of these yarns in these colors so there's a link there's a thread in the Ravelry group for that giveaway if you want to enter in there there's a prompt basically the question is what would you knit with this yarn combo I said I was going to knit this cowl which I've done and I wanted to know what you guys were going to knit with it if you won the yarn and so yeah I'm just going to throw that in with the other yarn just in case the winner wants to knit something else or wants to do a bigger cowl or something they just have that little bit extra yarn to go with it and uh, I have no plans for what to do with these extras so they may as well go with the other skeins in case whoever wins it wants to do a different project that takes up just that little bit more yarn anyway especially because even though they're even though the blue is a worsted weight and the so the silk one is a DK weight. They both only had 150 yards per skein, which is slightly, le well, definitely less for a DK and definitely less for a worsted weight. I feel like a worsted weight is usually around 200 to 210 yards and DK is usually around 220 to 230 yards per skein by 100 grams. Um, so they, they are definitely on the uh, lighter side in terms of yardage than what is typical. I assume so maybe a little bit of extra would be handy for the winner so that was a bit rambly but I'm gonna head off and say head off I'm gonna stop recording for a little bit finish weaving in these ends and I have some heels I need to pop in or I say heels one heel I need to do on a pair of socks so um, I just need to get cracking with that Yeah. <laughs> 
Is trying out peanut butter for the first time. How's it, honey? You enjoying it? I've got the Olympics on the TV, so that's what she's looking at, but yeah, is it good? Mmm, is it yummy? Morning guys. So um, yeah, Layla's just having some breakfast and I'm gonna sort myself out with something as well while she's having a little peanut butter sandwich. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to get her to eat sandwiches more because I feel like that will make it easier for me to feed her when we're out and about um, for lunch and stuff. So um, at the moment with like finger, she's not great with bread. Like she kind of has like good days and bad days with bread. So I'm trying to find some a variety of toppings that she might like and encourage her to eat bread more so she wants to be on the camera she's like what are you doing what are you doing um yeah so um yeah so i picked up some peanut butter for her last night and uh seems to be liking it so like, oh, she's good they were out of bananas at the supermarket otherwise i probably would have got but like mushed up some banana on the toast as well for her because peanut butter and tomato and tomatoes and bananas seems to be like a good mix but um she's enjoying this so far so she hasn't dropped the bread yet which she normally would have done by now so i think we're on to a winner but her first love will always be just cheddar cheese yeah yeah, hello. Do you like your cheese? Honestly, if I let her, she'd eat nothing else but cheese. Cheese, yeah, and blueberries. Hey again. <laughs> I'm back now. It is um, lunch break time. I guess this is kind of like my lunch break. Um, Layla's now napping. I've had my lunch. I am now knitting. I thought I would check in and show you what you guys what I'm up to. So last night after I last spoke to you, I finished off the cuffs on another pair of socks. And these are going to be socks for my brother for his birthday. So um, nice green soft striping. It's a three row, three stripe repeat. That's the word. And it's the foliage colorway from Dubai Knits. And that's uh, some yarn dyed by my friend Josie. And uh, yeah, she, she dyes, she's in, indie yarn dyer based out of Dubai and um, yeah so that's some yarn that she bought for me when she came to New York to visit last summer and I'm finally getting around to knit with it and uh, the other project I've, I cast on yet last night as well after I spoke to you is the beginnings of another hat I'm on a serious hat kick right now um, especially with designs I think I have like nine hat designs in the works right now including seven that for the New York hat club but um, even so, there's still a lot of hats coming your way. Um, <laughs> this is the yarn, the, this grey yarn is Chasing Pavements colourway by Knitting It Up. And that's a lovely Annie based out of Canada. She's um, Montreal, I think. And um, yeah, so I'm holding fingering weight held double for this design. And uh, yeah, so exciting, exciting stuff. I'm just on the brim right now, obviously, as you can see. So it's nothing too exciting, just some ribbing. And... That's about it, really. Got nothing else to share at the moment, just working on that. And um, I do have heels that I need to put in on those socks that I was working on on the trip to Unravel. I'll show you those as well, really quickly. Um, I'm going to open this up. There we go. <laughs> it's hard to do that one handed. And yeah, so that's what these socks are currently looking like. They look very different from each other. Obviously, one end of the skein was. One half of the skein was much more saturated than the other, but that's fine. There's some sort of like flashy, pooly stuff going on, but um, yeah, there's a lot more saturated greens and like oranges in this particular sock than in this one. Um, that's okay. That's one of the beauties of hand dyed yarn that you're never going to get, you know, identical socks from a skein, unless they were specifically dyed to be identical. Um, 
but there we go that's what i'm currently working on and i guess i'll just check back in with you guys later this is really the first chance i've had to do any knitting today um i don't really get that much knitting time when Layla's awake anymore um and that's fine it is what it is and she's at just at an age where she needs a bit more attention and that's totally fine um so yeah that's that so she didn't sleep that long in the end about an hour and a half not a problem it's fine but i managed to get almost all the ribbing done i think i've got like two or three more rows to do so i'll take this downstairs and hopefully get those final couple of rows done um at some point this afternoon <laughs> Am I coming to get you? Am I coming to get you? Am I coming to get you? Where are you going? Boo! Go! 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 I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! Right, so Layla's asleep and I've had a shower. I'm gonna see how my hair goes um, curly, put some mousse in it. So we will see how this curls. And that way, if it's terrible, I'll have time tomorrow to straighten it before we wanna be taking photos and stuff. And if it works and it looks nice, then I'll leave it curly. But for now, so what it looks like. I don't mind it so much when it's wet and curly, but it always dries randomly. So we will see. Like I said, I've got some mousse in it, so hopefully it won't go too frizzy. Is it yummy? Give me the chase. I did it. 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 I
Careful, it doesn't pop. guys so today is friday the 23rd of february my little baby's one years old now she uh it was her birthday yesterday and as you'll have seen um we had a really lovely relaxed day at home it wasn't anything um extravagant or anything like that we did a little cake smash session thingy with her with some chocolate cake that we bought and um, she was a bit apprehensive at first, it was really funny because she really wasn't going for it at all um, until we gave her a fork and a spoon and then she was going at it, <laughs> digging into it and stuff. I guess she didn't really like it being on her hands all that much, although she got pretty messy towards the end. But um, but yeah, so that went really well. We opened up some presents and um, yeah, she, she loved it all, to be honest. Um, one of my friends, Jo, who, um, if you've been watching for a while, you'll have seen that she has sent stuff for Layla before in the past. 
and she sent Layla a birthday present and it showed up yesterday morning just in time so um, she opened it and Jo as part of her present has sent like a cute little stuffed doll and um, Layla absolutely loves it like she would not let it go <laughs> and she was just so enamoured with this doll thing that um, yeah she, she still absolutely loves it and, uh, and yeah, so we just had a really nice relaxed day yesterday. This morning, Perry and I are going to head out to grab a few bits for the party tomorrow. Um, we're going to have to go out this afternoon to get a few more things from somewhere else, but we only have a little bit of time this morning before um, before we need to get back. And then, um, so yes, yeah, so my mum's going to look after Layla. They've got like a mother and toddler group that my mum's going to take her to. I would normally take her to that, but uh, my mum's going to take her today because she's got the day off work. And, um, and yeah, and then we're just gonna be at home getting ready for tomorrow's party. Not that it's it's not a huge party, it's just a few family and friends and stuff get coming around. Um, but still need to prep downstairs. And uh, yeah, that's about it really. <laughs> Today is Layla's birthday party day and Perry and I are off out this morning to go grab the balloons that we ordered for her. They're huge and they're going to be filled with helium so we need to go pick them up. He's actually in a different car because we need two cars to grab get them back because they're that big. <laughs> but um, but yes, yeah, so that's what we're doing now.
So we are at the end of the day. Um, Perry's gone to Perry. Layla's gone to bed. Perry's downstairs, and uh, yeah, I'm just talking quietly because she's still settling in her room. And it was a very lovely day. It was a perfect sort of birthday party day, and it was really nice. A few people couldn't make it in the end, but that's fine. We still had a really good turnout and yeah, it was just a lot of fun and Layla had a great day. Um, my aunt and uncle came over with my uncle being the one who Layla is absolutely terrified of. Every time we FaceTime them and every time she's seen them before, she's just burst into tears at the sight of him. Um, no past history or any sort of history of anything ha having happened, but just for no, no reason at all, she's just terrified of him. But today we had a bit of a breakthrough. She did not cry once when looking at him, which was great. And um, we just made sure that they didn't get too close. And uh, for the most part it went okay. Other than that, it was just a really nice day. Got to hang out with friends and family. And um, Layla had a really good time. Tomorrow, after we've gotten up and had breakfast and sort of gotten our things together, we're heading down to Perry's parents to celebrate with them. We're spending the day and the night there, so we come back up Monday. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. Um, so I'll probably keep vlogging for the next couple of days and finish the vlog on Monday. So it's going to be a slightly longer vlog this week, or in terms of timeline, than usual, just because it makes sense to incorporate all of Layla's birthday weekend. Morning guys, it is Monday the 26th of February. Today's gonna be the last day for this vlog. Um, I'm not sure how good this vlog's gonna be, to be honest, it's been a bit disjointed, it feels. But I also kind of feel like I say that all the time. But anyway, um, we're down at Perry's parents still, 
and Layla's just had her breakfast and actually Perry's sister's gonna come over with the baby she they didn't have a good night last night so we offered to babysit a little bit for them if um, or rather for Perry's sister if she wanted to go upstairs and have a nap and um, we'll look after the baby for a little bit so that's what we're gonna do and um, and yeah, so we're going to be here till about lunchtime, I think, and then we will probably head off after that, back up to London. On the knitting front, I finished the first sock of this um, design last night, and got most of the way down the foot on the second sock last night as well. I've only done a couple of rows this morning, so um, so that's where we are with that. I'll probably have the second sock finished, if not before we leave here, then on the way back home. And, um, and yeah. Later. Honey, what are you up to? Pushing the red button. Are you pushing the red button? Sleepy little boy. His little hand knits. I think he's wearing one of the jumpers I made him as well. There he is. And sock progress almost to the toes. I think I'm a couple of rows off from starting the toes. And you may be able to hear Layla in the background. Perry's just putting her down for a nap. And we made it home. Yeah. Feeling quite tired now. Hey guys, so um, rounding out this vlog today, it's now 10pm and I'm knackered, we're going to go to bed soon, Layla's asleep finally, um, bit of an incident this evening, she threw up just before bed, um, managed to get me all over my uh, yellow jumper, my pullover, the knitted one um, that I made, <laughs> which actually as it happens is the first time she's 
thrown up on or had any sort of like mess related incident um, with any of my hand knits, either mine or hers, um, since she was born. So we've managed to make it over 12 months without a major messy incident with knitwear. So I think that's pretty good going, especially considering we had a bad run of her vomiting a while back. So um, I'm surprised it hadn't happened sooner, to be quite honest. So I gotta go get my sweater out of the sink. It's here soaking in some eucalypt. It didn't stain, it was mostly milk that she threw up, so it's not gonna stain, thankfully. And I got it soaking pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna go get that out and lay it out to dry, get ready for bed and hopefully I'll get this vlog up sometime this week, probably tomorrow or Wednesday. Um, and yeah, and then hopefully I'll get to do a podcast either later this week or early next week, we will see. Um, I've got a stack of things to show you guys, so I kind of want to get doing that sooner rather than later. See you guys soon.